Hello, y'all. It has been forever, but it is the eclipse today, and I just find it really interesting what I have seen so far. So I thought I had one deck here, but it's not the one that I want. So we'll be using the Antique Anatomy Tarot for your pick of cards and I'm actually going to go into further detail with them. So stay tuned. Happy Libra season to everyone. Oh, we got a lot of cards talking. And so I'll do three cards. Oh, well, for somebody. The High Priestess. I'm just gonna cut the deck. The High Priestess is usually someone who's really tapped into their intuition. It might be that you will start paying attention and tapping into yourself, but also know that you've known whatever you know all along. So put that in here. Right. Make sure that the energy is clear. And I'm gonna cut this thing one more time. Oops. We got one here. And this one. Only difference is I can tell when they're reversed, so we shall see. This one told me to make it unreversed. All right, so, um, quartz skull, a fluorite melon, and I, in the name of Friday the 13th, make your decision. And let's get into this work. <clears throat> So if you chose the owl, it is actually a, it's in garnet, um, garnet like in, my brain is a little slow, but this is garnet and it's inside, if I'm not mistaken, um, obsidian. So in general, this is a very protective stone, but it is also like grounding, rooting, getting yourself together and prepared and grounding and rooting. So this is our strength card, which isn't that the longest bone in our body? Um, I think so, the thigh bone. Don't quote me on that. So strength overall is hanging there, right? Like, but also know that you have the capacity to let what needs to end and let what needs to begin begin part of strength is actually surrender it's not always brute strength when we look at this in the rider weight um you usually see somebody with a um lion like a woman with a lion and it looks like the lion has been either tamed or made docile or what have you and so i want maybe two cards on this. Oh, what deck is this? I'll put it in the in the description box. Oh. Alright, so doubling on the strength and the seven of wands. So you have the capacity to make things happen for yourself, but also measure out the way that burnout can come through. Seven of wands. Um Things that can be, basically what I get is like, don't force anything to come through. If it's taking more strength than you need, right, maybe there's the ability to pivot and not have to go through the fire in order to get to, you know, this little rainbow in the background. So hope that is useful. And let's go on to the next deck, y'all. 
And then <clears throat> the next choice is our quartz skull. And so have you become the master healer in your life or are you allowing um, self-mastery and healing to come through? This was reversed, but I just want to see. So this is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. And so the Queen of Wands usually knows when to make moves, you know, money moves, if, if that's part of the thing. But there's also the red flower. So there is some um, maybe grounding, but also finding maybe even like new excitement in your life. And I'm being called to actually read the the book that's interesting and i opened right to it so as a situ as a person the queen of rods is a natural leader whose energy is infectious to those around her she is imaginative imaginative and has charisma making friends wherever she goes unfortunately this queen has also has a fiery temper and being on the receiving end of a wrath can be painful so if you feel like your light has been snuffed out I'm going to clarify and we'll talk about that. As a situation, you take the lead in a new situation. Adding an artistic flair to a project is a great way to show off your unique and bold personality. While being the spotlight is great, don't become a diva. Let the world, let the work speak for itself. Like, do the best that you can. Well, let the work speak for itself. <clears throat> And what you want will come in, but people can't find you if you're holding back. If you're holding back, not sharing your gifts with people, um, you'll be more sustained than you think you will be. Do not um, fall victim to, you know, analysis paralysis or it needs to be perfect. Do your best. If you need to get some help, get some help. But be proud of whatever you're putting out there and let the world respond in kind. So that definitely felt like it was for artists, writers, people, content creators of any kind, anyone who's kind of doing maybe even freelance work. That one definitely was for you, my friends. And I looked at the bottom. And it's the nine of pentacles is basically what this is. So your harvest is coming, but it can't come if you are not putting yourself out there. Put your work out there, pitch some things. So yellow fluorite, which is definitely a confidence or a cleanser. So if it has a little bit of residue or something, you know. Um, if you haven't feel, feeling as popping, this eclipse might be, might be the thing that, you know, you purge what prevents you from popping, point blank period. So I'm actually looking for, what number are you? It's 20 of one of the last ones. Okay, then it's the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and Man judgment here we go so this is numerology number 20 astrological correspondence pluto and i feel like this um mars and scorpio energy will be good for you um being able to go down to like the nitty-gritty the details being investigative and curious about life um the past is calling and it won't stop until you acknowledge it the judgment card is all about acceptance and forgiveness. So another thing that I will say about Pluto and Mars and Scorpio is allow transformations to, to renew you versus like make you feel like you've just been ash. Like the phoenix rise from the ashes, right? Rise. Don't stay in that. When you understand that some things can't be changed, you can finally move on to bigger and better things. This card wants you to stop wearing masks and to be your authentic, imperfect self. What makes you great is your resilience in the face of your toughest trials and your battle scars contain the map to your future. Rebirth is the process of reflecting on your choices and understanding how they led you to where you are now. 
you are about to be resurrected into the next version of yourself. So, I mean, I don't make these things up, y'all. I don't make these things up. And the biggest thing is confidence. There's some big, big endings, new beginnings coming, and they're going to surprise you, but... It might be a pleasant surprise with that Root of Cups, which is the Ace of Cups, basically. I like that it's the Root of Cups, which means that there is a place that you can grow from. So, your friends, um, don't do the absolute most if you don't feel like doing so this eclipse. Rest, um, if you feel called to clean because Venus is in Virgo, do that. But... Also, I would say, what is what is the news that you are calling in by the end of this month? Um, and see if you can make some small steps, right? Not necessarily a manifestation, but small steps to um, those things. And so, thank you for being here. And be safe.